this episode is about the dealer mode. Uh, the bike has got two modes of operation uh, a normal user mode which is the running mode of the bike it is the normal mode where you ride your bike and everything is fine but there is also a dealer mode which is uh, a diagnostic mode if the bike has got uh, some kind of problem either electrical or with the injection or then it has the ability to inform the rider about the cause or the actual problem via the dealer mode in user mode which is the normal running mode if a fault indication error occurs you will see the fi letters displayed in the odometer readout area and uh, if FI is alternated every two seconds with uh, an odometer readout and the red fault indication lamp on the dash is on solid, the bike will start and run in fail safe mode. While if the odometer readout is uh, FI and the red FI light lamp is blinking, most of the times the bike will not be able to start. While in the dealer mode, an, an FI or fault indication error is memorized in the ECU, the bike chip, when the error is present. This error will stay there as long as the power is not removed, which means the battery is not disconnected, or the ECU unplugged. So as I said, you might have a fault indication error which is uh, intermittent, and uh, the error code must be checked before the bike is turned off. That's why you keep this under your seat. The jumper cable or, ju or cable bridge and the paper clip here under the seat. And before you close the, you switch off the engine, you check the error. For all uh, DL1000 models and all non-ABS DL650s, non-ABS, which means up to 2006 and not beyond that. The dealer mode connector is located under the left rear fairing next to the ECU or in all 650s from 2007 onwards. Uh, the dealer uh, mode connector is this one. You don't have to take off anything except the seat of the bike. It has got a rubber cap to protect it from water. So you open it and you bridge these two the ones which are uh, one uh, above the other in one side I will show you how to do this to enter uh, in dealer mode the 2002-2003 DL1000 has got a 4 pin plug with only 2 wires this one has got 6 pin with 4 wires The 2004 and onwards DL1000 and all DL650s, like I said, have got a 6-pin plug, 3 and 3, with 4 wires. Now, in all cases, the white-red and black-white wires are the ones you will jumper to enable the dealer mode. Uh, which means the, these two on the end. As I said, from 2004 in DL1000 and all DL650, we have six, three and three pin plug for the dealer mode with four connectors, four wires. To make sure to find them, I will tell you that these two connectors, it's the ones on the side 
which are one above the other, these two. But if you want to make sure, look at the cables where you have a red and white one and a black and white one and the cables if you see they go to these two positions which is these two connectors on the side so these two are the ones we have to bridge or use a jumper first one is in and the second one now we are into dealer mode once the jumper is in place dealer mode is activated and uh, the fault indication error codes which are stored appear or are displayed in the odometer readout for uh, K2 and K3 models and clock readout for K4 and onwards for all the rest this is uh, in the area of the LCD panel when the ignition is on engine either engine running or not uh, if more than one error is in place it will change every two seconds to display all the error codes which are stored in the ECU uh, all the codes start with a dash and uh, C00 dash C00 is the normal readout so now that we have the jumper cable into the dealer mode plug it is now bridged we open the switch on with the key and the starting switch the check will start and you will see here the dash C00 code which means that the bike is in dealer mode and there is no fault indication this is the, the light that you will see either blinking or steady as it is with the fault indication if the bike is in a problem if it has got a problem or a malfunction here you will see the stored uh, codes depending on the problem I will put uh, a full list for you to check uh, the code and map it to a fault indication problem so now that we have finished take off the jumper or the jumper cable or the paper clip put it into a small plastic bag the one that one that seals also and have it and have it in uh, under your seat into this position we put the cap on the rubber one cap on so that water does not reach inside put it inside where it was hide it and uh, then always carry either the jumper uh, cable lid or the paper clip something conductive that fits there into a sealed plastic bag like this one have it under your seat why because like I said there are uh, fault indications which are um, such that uh, if you turn the bike engine off it will not start again and this is a big problem because you will get stuck somewhere that you don't want but uh, you can get the error reading, the fault indication error having this, using this and a spare key that you will have on you from the bike to open the lock from the seat and pull out the seat then jump, use your jumper and bridge the plug, the dealer mode plug see the indication without turning the engine bike off and go somewhere where you can fix it so that you know what the problem is uh, like I said uh, these cases where you, you must not turn the engine off uh, are the ones where the red light in the dashboard near the odometer uh, and the clock 
on the center is blinking together with the error code. If it's not blinking and it is steady, that means that the, uh, the malfunction is not so serious and your engine will start again, so you can turn the engine off. I hope this was uh, helpful. Uh, thank you for watching this video. More are soon to come.